Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today I want to talk to you about a problem we're having with modern fly lines on reels like this one, especially this one which is, you know, I don't know, about 10 years old, maybe a little older. It's a Danielson 6.9, which means it's built for fly lines from uh, 6 weight to 9 weight lines. Now, if we were putting, a, let's say, a regular 8 weight, typical AFTMA standard weight forward 8 weight on here, uh, it's 90 foot long that we would have typically bought when we this reel was first made, there'd be loads of room for backing, wouldn't be a problem. However, what I've got on here now is an Airflow Sniper line. It's 120 foot long, not 90, and it's thick. It takes up a lot of room, and so as a consequence, there's virtually no room for any backing on this reel. And I don't want to go out and buy another reel, this is a wonderful reel. So, what am I going to do? Well, the solution is to use braid like this Power Pro. Um, you, the Power Pro diameter is much smaller than Dacron for the uh, a breaking, given breaking strain. I can put a, you know, over 100 yards of backing on this reel using 50 pound uh, Power Pro braid, which I've got on here right now, and it barely takes up any room, and I've got tons of room for my fly line. So by using braid, and typically 50 pound is adequate. Uh, we could go to 80 if you wanted to, to take up more space. Um, but it allows you to put a lot of braid on a reel and take very little room compared to say 30 pound Dacron. You could even go lighter if you wanted. You go down to 20 or 30 pound if you wanted to. And you could put a ton of backing on a reel uh, and not take up much room. Now I know some of you are worried about um, the braid cutting into the rear loop of the fly line. It's not a big problem with uh, airflow polyurethane lines, though it may be more of a concern with polyvinyl chloride lines. But if you're worried about that, nevertheless, all you have to do is make two or three passes with the uh, braid through the rear loop of the fly line. And so you've got, let's say, three strands of Power Pro through that loop going through the loop, so it's spreading the load over the, the, the loop and it's much less likely to cut in. So if, you just, if you're worried about that, just use multiple passes uh, and you know, basically you're thickening up the power probe, you're making it three times as thick if you put three passes. So you know, it's a simple way around the problem. I mean, there's other ways of doing it. I mean, you could put some Dacron between the power pro and blah, 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 but you know, make multiple passes and you solve the problem. <clears throat> but as I say, Putting Power Pro or other kinds of braid on your fly reels, I think, is a, is a way to go. It has all the uh, requirements we want in uh, in backing, in that it's it's uh, rot resistant. It won't shrink. You know, it's very very durable. Lasts for a very very long time. You won't have to replace it very often. I'll tell you that much. So you can use this on a reel for a long time and not worry about it. Uh, the other complaint I've heard about using braid is people are worrying about burning or cutting your fingers when a fish is running and you touch it. Well, that's true. It could happen. But I'll tell you something else. I've done it with Dacron. So uh, I had a really big striped bass run a very long way, and I accidentally touched the, br uh, the Dacron as it's ripping out, and I got a lovely burn right across my fingers. So, you know, just because, uh, you know, you've got Dacron doesn't mean it's going to protect you. The, the idea is, if you've got a running fish, you keep your fingers away from the thing, okay? Uh, you don't want to be touching the backing as it's ripping off your reel, because you're going to burn yourself, you're going to cut yourself. And, uh, you know, it's going to happen with Dacron, it's going to happen with Braid as well. But it, it's, it's a great solution, and uh, I'm now working all of my reels over to uh, Braid. And, uh, you know, I, with these new fly lines that take so much more space, it's an ideal solution. So, you know, if you're having that problem with trying to fit fly lines on reels, remember Power Pro. Give it a try. Cheers.